Hey there, Matas. Uh, I'm too sleepy. I don't really want to plan my day. No problem. We've got the perfect games for you. Like poison. So in poison, you all stand in a line. The first person shoots a free throw. If he misses, the second person gets a rebound and tries shooting. From exactly where he caught the ball. It can't bounce more than once. If it bounces more than once, you're out. And if you touch the ball when it's not your turn, again you're out. And if you make the shot, you get the ball back. And then you shoot again. Now if you make again, you get the ball and you shoot again. Three shots is poison. You have to yell poison and everybody freezes where they're at. The guy who made the shot then takes two steps and hits the legs of anybody. And that is out. And you can't throw the ball. It should either be a direct touch or roll the ball. So now, the other two continue playing. Ah, oh, air ball. Air ball is directly out. This game is too boring. It's like for kids or something. Poison is fun when you can bang the board hard, it goes far away and you have to run behind it and you know actually people will get out because more than two bounces happen. But with this board, you can't really bang it that hard. So I've got another game called Alley. This is what happens when you combine cricket and basketball. So in Alley, we make two teams. Both of them in one team, both of us in one team. You decide which team is going to shoot free throws and the other team is going to stand for alley. So if you make a free throw, it is one point. If you miss the free throw, the other team should jump, catch the ball and release it while in the air. This is what is called the alley. You make the shot, the shooter is out. And if you miss the alley, then the person takes another shot like this until they get out until both of them get out you know <laughs> the next person on the team comes to shoot uh oh air ball air ball is directly out should have just stuck to granny shots and once the whole team is out, you switch and try to beat the score. If there are very few people, you can play individually instead of teams. And yeah, in an alley, you don't have to go directly into the hoop. You can also pass it to your teammates. You get three passes like this to try and make the shot. If you hit the ball on the board or the ball bounces in between, you can't do an alley after that. And if shooting only free throws is too boring for you, we can play horse. It's like chucking up random trick shots with your friends hoping that something goes in. But now, it's a game. The first person takes a shot. Wow! <laughs> if it goes in, the others have to take the exact same shot. You can specify overarm, underarm, swish, bank, left hand, right hand, all those kinds of things. If you miss the shot or don't do the exact shot, you get the letter H. Like that, you go H-O-R-S-E. Whoever gets horse is out. Once everyone has attempted the shot, the second person takes a trick shot of their wish. Behind the back. You did it with your left, I do it with your right. Yes. And it's the same thing again. Next, it's the third person's turn. Nope. Uh oh, if they miss, nobody needs to try. The turn moves right to the next person. And no, you don't get any letters for missing on your own turn. What you will get a letter for is if you take an easy shot and everybody makes it in. Unless it's the finals where there are only two people left. So while there's no rule that you have to take trick shots, it's better for you if you do. 
Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good chase. Yes, From where did you do that? Behind the backboard. May the best trick shotter win. And that's your lazy Sunday morning sorted. If you want some not so lazy games, do check out our previous video. And let me know if I missed something, okay? Subscribe and turn on all notifications because we have a lot more streetball games coming for you.